Abigail Gray, you are a very well-known North London estate agent. You said to me before we started filming this that you felt that the estate agency industry and the pe a lot of people within it lacked authenticity. What did you mean by that? Talk to me. So I think there is a sort of typical estate agent in many people's view, you know, the the yuppie with the slick back hair and the and the shiny smart suit. <laughs> yeah shiny suit pinstripe nice suit car. nice car exactly nice car suit and tie uh crisp shirt and i think that a lot of the time if people put themselves in that image they're not being true to who they really are and then the question is do you need to wear a shiny suit to be good at your job and i think the answer to me is no i as long as the people that work with me uh, are smartly attired, I don't mind what they wear. Um, I also don't like wearing suits. Um, I like to wear things with <laughs> bright colours and to brighten up dreary days. So if you feel the most comfortable in a certain style of clothing, then you will do your job to the best of your abilities when you feel comfortable. OK, well, that's that's the outward appearance of, of being authentic to yourself. But I'm talking about their actions. You know, the, the, the and, and again, I think what we've got to remember is, is that ultimately the, the biggest person in this transaction is the client. Are we authentic to our clients when, you know, there is overvaluing is rife in the industry? You know, Spectre say it's five out of ten. Right move say it's six out of ten houses sold with the second mm. estate agent. It always feels that it's the listing that seems to be the most important thing, not necessarily the sale. I think there's a massive pressure for valuers. To, to get that listing and then push the price down. And are they being inauthentic in doing that? Well, if you go around to someone's house and you tell them the property's worth £50,000 more than it really is, then yes, you are being inauthentic. And that is something that we have to steer against constantly. I mean, there is one very large national firm that pays their valuers on the listing and some very well-known London agents. Do you think... That, that paying commission on the listing is is adding fire to that? Yes, in author, in author... absolutely, absolutely. What you should be paying people on is the service you give to your clients. And what is the point in listing a property to not sell it? Do you think that commissions should be banned? Do I think that commissions should I mean, be that's banned? A, I know I'm taking a little bit... I know you weren't expecting that one. But <laughs> um, do, do you think we would offer better service if the commissions weren't there and we just paid decent salaries? Maybe, and you probably attract different people. I think that there are people attracted to a state agency who are inauthentic, who are doing things okay. just for cash. But hold on a second. Are people actually attracted to a state agency anymore? When you consider that the average fee has gone down from 1.6 now to 1%, according to the Property Academy. Yet well, the, the number of houses has almost dropped by 30, 40%. People still want to be estate agents. You know, I work with um, a young youth organisation and there are lots of young males there that want to become estate agents and work in property because I, I think there's a, a, a sort of image that getting into property means they'll get onto the property ladder, something that maybe their parents weren't able to do. And there's, there's easy entry into it at the moment, isn't there? Mm. No need for any qualifications. And the question then is, is, is that right? You know, we've got a rope on the horizon. Will that change the demographic of people in a state agency? Maybe in the next video, let's talk about regulation. <laughs> we could do that. Thank you. <laughs>